Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Welcome back. I am the Wise One, and today we will be going through the best moments of World's 2023 Swiss stage on Round 1, where G2 Esports takes on DK. Let's dive into the action. Canyon not even needed. Showmaker just pops the ulti and that summon is gone. Showmaker looking for a play in mid. You heard the desk talking about how it's been kind of sad to see the trajectory. 8-0, uh, by the way. Fun stat for you. It's pretty hot as uh, Mickey setting up on a death instant cleanse away, but Will has saved his life. Ignites down. Couple of autos too. Kellen with the flash away as well. And G2's bottom lane matches it. Oh my god! This team's pretty hot. Hunt. Well, he's in a bit of trouble too. G2 looking to replicate across the map. Just waiting as here we go. The ends go marching one by one. And yikes, says hurrah. With Broken Blade on top as well. That stun out. There's no flash from the trade before. Cannon's like, just make it stop. And G2 with another with a 2-0 start. He does get himself another force. Cannon showing great respect and caps on the roam here. Wow. Most agile Oriana we've ever seen. Kana, his flash is back up and available, but he gets stunned up, not going to use it. He knows he's dead as Caps picks up his first kill. And G2 continuing to hold that top. Things down as Yikes, okay, but look at top. First turret blood in under 14 minutes. Not what I was expecting. No, they have a window to start off this dragon. Caps hasn't had an opportunity to base, doesn't have his mythic. Do G2 still want to fight this? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. With the ulti from Yike in there, but the Magnus Storm and the boot bag. Showmaker, playmaker. All you blinkers out there, stand down. It's a double over to death. You can't underestimate the man in the jungle. There are now all the saplings in position that are yep. going to be extra bit of poke coming out from the AP Maokai. And you know what? D plus is just saying, we're fine. You can have this. We already took one Drake for you. We've slowed down the dragon stacking. And uh, we don't need to fight Draven right now. Trinity Force, Collector, no, we're good. I don't get you know, the guess. Draven stacks. Oh, I have to wait? guess. I have to wait till Observer gets there, Showmaker again, threatening it. But Caps holds onto the flash. That's a big brain move as Teleport going in. G2 want to die this and with Yai golfing in. Showmaker has nowhere to go. Broken Blade forces his flash, gets booped away. But there you go, adoration for the crowd again. One more to hit the boot as Hans Summers already cashed in. But he's looking for more money. Trying to roll the dice as Mickey X tries to get them out of there. Berserk for the time being. Running back in. G2 want to re-engage. It's chaotic, but it's going in G2's favor. They'll find another kill. Make it two. Four down on the side of D+. Deft is continuing to push in mid lane. But it started with Showmaker looking for that play onto Caps. He doesn't get flat. Ability powered by AWS before, showing that G2 might have this in the bag. Now, of course, you're saying they could have get it to the finish line, but massive gold lead now to 5K. The flash ball from Kellen doesn't work out. Re-engaged by Yike. The ends are out, and he's broken play for the stun down. That might be a tanky Alistar, but out of the farmyard he goes. He becomes a patty again. Hans Summer runs forward, gets more money in the bank. This guy's they are going up. G2 see this as an opportunity to start the Baron, but it's also a great opportunity for D+. Here we go, the Baron is kicked off. Well, no ulti from Death as they're stoned out by the Whirling Death over the wall. Kana can't do too much, and it all comes down to Are Canyon. they going to flip this? Are they going to flip this? Be very please don't flip it, though. G2. Uh, you're saying, please, no, but in goes Canyon looking for it. The all-in, oh my god! They've set up DK to smack him down, and they get the Baron! Betty has said no! running for his life, he's next to go down, and all of a sudden the tables have turned. The poke comp, Betty, as you set this up in draft, this comp has range. And what do we know about poke comps in League of Legends? When they have Baron, when they have priority and longer lanes, it is a nightmare to play against. I mean, they're gonna so have to good for DK. look at Canyon finding a flank once again. Broken Blade looking to zone him out. There's the poke again. He hits three. He jumps in. Canyon flush for that. Won't get the steal and won't get over the wall. A bit of an oops. Sorry, Sorelda's grudge. I'm also living in the past. Remember, remember Atma's <laughs> yes, Impaler? Yes, I do remember That Atma's is not that That's item. very old school. <laughs> yeah. It'll be building Warmogs next if oh, that was that. Let's go for it. Uh, but the point is, kind of... Through this. They don't have access to the Baron right now. G2 have chosen to reset. They don't have any vision. Yikes, this the is only gone. one nearby. It's gone, Betty. It's gone. It's just gone. It's a blind Baron. G2 had a nice level 16. True. 
The flank though coming in from Broken Blade. And look who's there. It's Death by himself. Dominus now pop looking for Death and to stun him up. He cleanses the way, but Broken Blade has brought the Armada to him. Flashes away. He might have done his job as he goes golden, but he should be dying here. But Slice and Dice, he's out of there. But hang on, he needs the reset and he can't find it. However, now with the Dragon up and the Renata ulti out, it might be okay as G2 bring it to a 50 50 and win it out. Ocean Soul there. The Jike, for some reason, flashes upward. But G2 have a permanent buff in this game as there is also a Grave labelled out for Mickey as he drops down again. That's three members dead though and D-plus have all five members plus returning kind by getting themselves three kills. And now might continue on as Caps is caught out between his two turret shockwaves there but it's late there's the Magnet Storm. Chains of Corruption. The shockwave eventually comes through to correct myself as Caps flashes. No! Death with the timing's huge. Kellen gets him out of position! I'm not sure Death should have died, but if it comes a one for one. Impressive play there by Caps. In a four versus one, he's able to trade. They are. Well, again, if they can win this G2, might be able to flip things again as Jike sends out the ulti. Dominus from Broken Blade on the side. Canyon caught on the wing here. Showmaker puts up his turret, but it won't save Canyon's life. He's buying a bit of time, and Showmaker starts ordering away. But remember, they have Ocean Soul. There's another cash in for Hunt. Some of the flash from Broken Blade. It's a pulverize, but Kellen can't do a thing. Out goes Showmaker, in goes G2, and we've swung again. It's chaos. Connor should have been pushing in mid, but he comes back because he thinks maybe with Showmaker still alive, we can we can turn something here, but the flash in from Broken Blade from both sides, <laughs> but it is delivering well in said. some super entertaining league. Yike will begin the Baron. G2, for again. the love of God, don't let this one go. It's gonna flip again, isn't it? Well, maybe if DK aren't there, it won't be a flip. As Jike sticks on it, Baron's gonna go down this time. No harm, no foul as Caps get poked in. Showmaker teleported in for this play, but G2 still hovering around looking for a pick themselves. G plus. They just gotta get out of there. It feels there's the poke coming through. Nailed down in the corner as well. Caps zones him out. Change of corruption doesn't connect again. Yikes ulti to zone out has been fantastic as space is drawn. Here we go, it's being started. But as you said, Kellen's still too low. The handshake zoning out, the poke coming through. G2 aren't letting them walk in, but Kana has an influence from the top side. Look at the lifesteal from Hansama, though. Well, hang on, Kellen's just walking into danger, though. Hansama cashes in! Kellen is meat to the slaughter again as that whirling death hurts. And thank you, says G2, for giving us the Elder Dragon. They weather the storm from D+. They're able to mitigate. Hansama now leading the charge. Elder Dragon G2, Baron buffed up. Five more seconds. Will they finally break into the base? Well, anyone's guess here as the Baron, the Red Bull Baron power plays four and a half thousand with G2 almost moving to 10,000 themselves. There goes the inhibitor. G2 thinking about the push and using that Elder. Until the Elder disappears. Then the Baron is alive in a minute's time. The third what can Baron. G2, the third Baron. Or is it fourth. the fourth? It's the fourth Baron. <laughs> but I can't count. But with the last pick of the Elder, once more, Yike sends out nature. The ends of the forest don't find their mark, but at least it zones out for a second inhibitor. So the base is in complete tatters by DK. And I came from Australia, it's like two hours away. Over the wall, Mickey might be caught out. Hang on a minute, this Renata separated, but it might be okay. Magnet Storm out, but that Renata ulti is insane. Running forward is Broken Blade to zone out as DK is still looking for that clutch factor, but Hunt Summer won't let Kellen anywhere near. Go back to the farm. G2 zoning them out continuously, and they might have it, Venice. They might just with the shockwave bring him back the playmaker. Han Summer getting all the money, but Caps is getting my heart. MVP Mickey. He sees the angle, the choke point, Broken Blade looks into the eyes of the reigning world champion and says, today is not your day. He'll force him into the GA and they're looking for the Nexus. The first seed from the LEC holds on to their name, saying it was back and forth. It was a little bit messy, but hey, G2, they're versatile, they're volatile, and they're starting 1-0 in the Swiss stage against the LCK4. What a crazy game.